New tonight, a chilling story in Stillwater for parents with kids in daycare. Stillwater police say former child care worker Savannah Hawthorne is facing child pornography charges. News Force Caitlin Ogle just back from Stillwater with the story. And Katie, we understand we're also dealing with some unknowns here. That's right. And Stillwater police say they can't give out a lot of details. This is still under investigation, and they don't want to tip off any potential suspects. Right now, officers and the OSBI agents are working to determine how many children were victims. It could just be anybody, and that's that's the concerning thing too. With it, it's like you don't know who you can trust. Stillwater police say former local child care worker Savannah Hawthorne now in the Payne County Jail facing child pornography charges. Yeah, Lieutenant T.J. Lau says last year officers got a call from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, who got a tip online. The tip came from Twitter that indicated that the suspect was uh, possessing child pornography, as well as soliciting uh, others to, for distribution of child pornography as well. Lau says the investigation led to 22 year old Hawthorne, who used to work at a Stillwater daycare that police are not naming before moving to Enid. We're currently investigating if she is uh, making any of the child pornography while she was working at the daycare. The parents and legal guardians of the, the children that were under the care of Hawthorne at that time that she was employed there have been alerted. Friday, Stillwater and Enid police, along with the OSBI, searching Hawthorne's home in Enid, finding the evidence. They're working with the Oklahoma State Bureau investigations plus other agencies to determine the number of victims that are going to come out of this case. Within hours of the department posting the arrest on Facebook, more than 800 shares. Concerned mothers commenting saying Hawthorne has allegedly been posting in Enid community groups asking about babysitting and teaching jobs. I know that there's been people commenting on Facebook mentioning that on our post. We can't confirm if it was her that was asking if she was the one that was soliciting for babysitting jobs in Enid. Now, again, no word on what daycare Hawthorne worked at, how old the children were, or how many victims there are. Police are still investigating, so if you have any information, give them a call.